Who is Elin Lasker? People say my names, they think I'm either white or I'm married to a white. It's another very exciting moment with a very, very special guest. So I grew up in a place called Kinango. I okay. know that you have heard anything about Kinango. I have heard. Pronunciation. There's river, there's liver. I mean, <laughs> I never heard like something like that. If you want to become a pilot, you speak to a pilot. Mm. So I joined a circle when I was 23. What that did for me was to instill mm. the discipline of savings. Of saving. If you want to become a billionaire, speak to a billionaire. You know, I told some guys that come from the village market, I said, no, not village market, real mm. village. And if you want to be financially free, listen to this conversation that we're just about to have. When you commit, you commit. You don't even yeah. touch this man. Just like the yeah. you don't touch your pay. You know, it's so... It's so good to hear this from a youthful person. Youthful? <laughs> no, the new youth is 60 and below. Oh, okay. Thank you. Youthful. Thank you. <laughs> it's so good because you have tasted the, f the, the feeling of financial freedom. Mm. Maybe you can just take this moment to tell us what... How does it taste? What are some of the things that you've enjoyed mm. in this season that you would not have enjoyed in the pre-2017 mm. uh, period? Yeah. Yeah. Because that's, that's really feeling. what many people are living for. And it's forever elusive. You know, prior to 2017, mm. something else that happened is I was also going through coaching and therapy. Yeah. And the kinangop factor was, was a pain point I didn't know about. Mm. I think you are being coached. Yes, co oh, yes. You are, master you are, coach the, has the a master coach. master coach was also being coached. And actually undergoing therapy yeah. to deal with the fact that I was so driven to this point of getting to a burnout. What was driving me? And one of the driving forces I had was the fact that I would never want to lack. There was such a feeling of insecurity when I was growing up. Mm. Uh, I didn't mention I didn't even have pen to go to school. I had a good teacher who, Mr. Mr. Paul, you know, who actually gave me pens because I couldn't even afford pens. Mm. There was such a fear of getting to that place that it drove me crazy. Mm. So alongside this journey, I've also been recovering from that feeling of, we, I never want to go back there. Mm. So now I'm driven the, with... The, the trauma of poverty. The trauma of poverty. I, you have a good name for it. I was like, I never want to go. But it was too much. So I ended to ask myself, the question of how much is enough then mm. helped me see, it's doable. It's mm. hard, but it's actually, there is actually a way you can get to a point of, once I'm here, I know at least, you know when you're swimming, you can see the show. You're like, hey, I can see it. I'm about to get to there. To the land, you know, mm. there, was, there was such a good feeling knowing that I can actually do that. It is doable. It's doable. Mm. But then also knowing I don't want this animal to keep on creeping on me and, mm. and making me feel like I'm headed nowhere. Mm. So now, fast forward, put a few things in place. As I said, I'm still on this journey. But I, I love the fact that I have peace of mind. I have peace, peace of mind. I have peace of mind. That's priceless. That is priceless. Yeah. I don't wake up at night wondering, so wha, what will happen? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, I know there are people who would even, and I'm sorry to say, my husband was there, what, 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 what would life look like? Yeah. Those are real, real fears that people live with. Yeah. Um, or if I'm not there, mm. will the kids go to school mm. or will my husband would be, will he be overburdened mm. by the fact that he would have mm. to carry everything mm. by himself. Mm. Um, I'm able to work flexibly. Mm. Like, as I said, I'm on sabbatical, but there are times I am showing up at work, there are things I need to do, support the team, sit, serve on the board, give you direction. Work, you work when you wish. Yes, there's flexibility. freedom, there's flexibility. Mm. And the third one would be the fun. I think I'm having more fun in my life than I've ever had before. Because there was a mental freedom. In fact, before we got to financial, there was mm. a mental freedom mm. getting over this kin and gop mm. affair. Yeah. But then now, that mental freedom has allowed me to go to my childhood hobbies, things that I would like, I would have loved that I would not do. Mm. Um, you don't hear what I've been up to. Please. <laughs>
Indulge me. <laughs> Indulge me. So I do a lot of gardening. Yeah. I propagate plants. You know, yeah. I have a green thumb. But they only think I grow when I plant. Kinagov girl. girl. Kinagov girl. Yeah. <laughs> I've gone back to using my hands to knit and crochet. Knitting. Yeah. We have discovered the girl again. I know. The girl is, I mean, you should see me. And recently adopted some two kittens. So I'm, I'm having pets for the wow. first time. And wow. uh, I would have known that I can actually do that. So I'm, I'm doing so things. So you're, you're doing knitting. Knitting, crochet, crochet, gifting people things I've made with my own hands. Yeah. And it's so beautiful. It yeah. is so beautiful. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to put this. But when I was in the season of insecurity and proving and I, I think I spend my money carelessly mm. um, but things that I cannot spend any money on mm. you know Piers I've been unable to change my car mm. you've been unable to change your car yes yeah since since 2017 conversation I mean this yeah. again priorities. priorities you know priorities. like is my x3 broken no yeah is it taking where I want to go yeah. yeah so why am I actually changing it yeah so why would I take a 20 mic car, roll on the road, and yeah. I'm, I'm actually, but they are not even going anywhere as it were. Yeah. So their priorities completely shifted. Shift. And I'm okay showing up with that. I'm okay taking Uber. Yeah. Because I know what my true north is. Yeah. Yeah. That financial, having my cash flow is rather than having a big machine outside when I cannot mm. afford important things or when it's on loan and I'm having to pay, you know every penny and yeah. i can't sleep i can't sleep but so my priorities have also changed uh, this be that you know, that is a very powerful your true north is knowing you have the cash flows freedom not the not the big not shiny the objects no not the show not the shows not the shows the, the, the cash oh flow cash flow is the king for me it's the queen yeah it's being a, a lady yeah <laughs> <laughs> cash flow is the queen you cash know? flow is the queen <laughs> <laughs> so um Many times my friends tell me, when are you changing? I'm like, what's your problem? Yeah. And I don't shy away. I don't even, I don't, how do I put it? I don't feel embarrassed about it. No, no, no. Because I know my true north. You know your true north. Yeah. It's not the show. It's not the show off. It's yeah. not the shiny object. It's, yeah. it's knowing that, I'm not saying, it's being comfortable. And being, being comfortable. And knowing that, that's the lifestyle. At the right time. At the right time. At the right time. Yeah. But right now, yeah. we are enjoying I, 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 you're enjoying flexibility. Not, not like when I fly, I fly economy. No, I will no, not no. do that. Yeah. But uh, you know what I mean? When you fly, you fly, <laughs> you fly <laughs> oh, well. Not. Oh, yes. But, but I'm <laughs> not going to. It's not every day. But I'm like, yeah, I can yeah. I can treat myself. I can pick a bit of them and treat myself yeah. and do this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I, ha I still have my, my friends say I have a Jalua factor. There's, a, there's an Akini <laughs> in me. I still have that side. But uh, I still am very committed to my true north. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. This is so beautiful. I thanks to you. I have for the work you did. Yeah, thank you. I, I feel very satisfied thank by you. the way. I have not had anyone tell me how they feel to be financially free. So you have given me a feeling, mm. and I hope everyone who will get to listen to your story, they will seize this feeling and lock it somewhere and work towards it because it's not about amassing wealth. No. It's about being comfortable. And knowing your priorities. And knowing your priorities mm. and knowing your true, your true north. We'll come to that, but. And let me just say something. Yeah. The reason most people would not be able to, you said you've not had people tell you this. There, there are particular things that happen. For example, comparison. Mm. Wanting to have what the other person has mm. and putting your money where you should not be putting your money. Mm. Number two, not knowing you're working towards what, not mm. defining. If there's one gift. Not investing without purpose. Yes. Mm. If there's one gift out which people can receive, yes. it's sitting and defining how much is enough so that you can let go of the burden of wanting more. Mm. Mm. How much is enough? Yeah. For you. Wow. <laughs> so that you can let go of the burden of, of wanting more. Of the burden more. of wanting more. It's a moment to pause. Let that sink in. <laughs> let that sink in. Knowing what is enough so that you can let go of the burden of wanting. Always wanting of more. Of always wanting more. Wow. Let's, we need to bring this conversation to an end. Let's rewind the years. 
the Aileen of 20 years ago, mm -hmm. if she was to start all over again, if we were to rewind the clock, knowing what you know today, because there are many Aileens who are listening, what would she do different? Mm. What are the two, three things that she would do different hmm. to get to that feeling yeah. even sooner? Mm. So if 20 years ago I knew what I knew in 2017, yes. I would have found myself there sooner. Mm. You know, like if I knew um, that you can start small and that you can do it purposefully, mm. you know, having defined what that looks like mm. never meant to be dynamic mm. but knowing at least you have something you're working towards i think mm. i'll be very far i would have been here possibly f earlier mm. it would have saved me a lot of years of possibly toiling and mm. sleepless nights and mm. worrying about it you don't even know what you're worrying about because when you're worrying without a destination what are you actually worried about you're ba worrying about a b the burden of Wanting more. Yeah. <laughs> You're worrying about your carelessness not to plan. Yeah. I mean, not let me, let me take it back. Not carelessness. It's, you're worrying because you don't know. You're you worrying know. over you don't know. Yeah. So they're known. They're known. Mm. So if I was to take myself back 20 years ago, mm. that's what I would have done. I would have started with a pious define. and define What is enough? What is my, and it's my mm. enough. Mm. Not... You just say when you say what is enough, mm. that's general. What's you your must, enough? Which, what is my enough? Yeah. Set your own standards because mm. nobody will do that for you. Mm. Okay. Uh, 20 years ago, I hadn't started the business. Mm. What would I have done differently? 20 years ago, I would have planned to start the business with, um, with a partner in mind, not mm. just doing it all alone. Mm. So that then the multiplication and the growth. I know the coaching journey has obviously been very unique because I was, I was pioneering, mm. but possibly, you know, building a team earlier, not really focusing on my own resourcefulness alone, mm. but tapping on others, I would have mm. done that earlier. Mm. Uh, but the key thing is that knowing you enough. So build a business. That's not dependent on that you. That is not dependent on you. As I said, my case was unique, but maybe with the knowledge I have now, mm. there was still a room to bring in people at an earlier stage. Yeah. yeah. Don't build a kiosk. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. And the other thing I would have done 20 years ago if I knew was to, you know, work with a therapist to help mm. me discover mm. any childhood beliefs and trauma that I had carried mm. that were now sort of you know, um, shackling me in a certain mm. thought process that was not productive. Mm. Yeah. The mindset. The mindset. Yeah. Because actually the freedom starts with the mindset. The mindset. Yes. It's yeah. not it's not necessarily a physical thing. Yeah. 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 Mm. Wow. Wow. That is so I would So like I would have let go of my shackles earlier enough. Yeah. 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 Let me just repeat this again. And I'll I'll start with probably the most imp the priorities, eh? Mm. I think the therapy mindset set you set your mind free. Free, yeah. Set your mind free. Yeah. Then define what is your enough. Mm. What is your enough? And then start small. Yeah. And stay committed. And stay committed. Mm. Then I like uh, what you said. Start a business, a real business, not a kiosk. Mm. A real business that can run without you. Yeah. Yeah. Very powerful. Thank you. Very, very powerful. Any parting shot that you'd want to just, one statement that you'd want people not to forget? Is, I think what I would like mm. to say is that come. financial freedom is not a loose, not an elusive thing. Mm. It is possible. Mm. And if you're watching this and you've never taken time to sit with a financial planner or an investment planner, to define how much is you enough. Please, don't let a go a day go without doing that. Mm. It is a starting point. Mm. Thank you, thank you so much, Eileen. I am. Um, I feel personally, uh, this message is has impacted on me. Mm. I, I I can feel the shifts in within me. 
uh, and thank you for being vulnerable enough to share your story. <laughs> and thank you for bringing the Kinang of Girl. Uh, because people like to see the glamour, but they don't understand that there is story be- there's a story behind the glamour. The, the substance of the woman who sits in front of us today is really that kinam- kinang of girl and humble beginning. And I'm glad that you didn't come from one of those very well of families. Mm. That it makes everybody know it is possible. Yeah. And you that's the reason come. I share that background bias yeah. because I don't want people to imagine it. This is a reason for people yeah. who have come from the who is who. The who is who. And it reminds me of Bill Gates. He said, if you are born poor, it is not your mistake. Mm. But if you die poor, it is certainly your mistake. Mm. So, listeners, followers, uh, fans, passers-by, strangers (laughs) who come across this uh, video, clips, I hope that you sit down with a pen and paper and write this because there's something you said, Elaine, that lady, she said, you, ha- you have been my password because you unlocked my life. Mm-hmm. I hope watching this and putting it into action will make Elaine your password that unlocked your life. And she said something else that I want to repeat. Massive actions equals massive result. Start small, start now, not tomorrow. And you'll unlock your life. Thank you very much. And uh, looking forward to engaging with you. Write to us any comments, feedback. Write to Aileen. She would love to hear what you think and how your life pans out. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's continue this conversation. Take care.